Abraham Lincoln said, a house divided cannot stand. And our industry is facing a current landscape where either there might be some arguing or they're doing everything in a silo. And sometimes the lenses are looked at a lot differently than we learned on this show. And maybe the person that's saying the right words can be looked at as a renegade. Or maybe because you don't wear a tie, you aren't in, as in tune with the what you're supposed to look like. Today, we had Eddie Perez on our show, who has been a leader at the advocacy and at the national level for the Mortgage Bankers Association. And we got to ask him some raw questions. And what I came out with, what I learned is the consumer is the most important person and getting back to the consumer is what a loan officer's job needs to be. And in order for them to do that, they need some transparency on how the industry is run and they need some transparency on options outside of who's just calling their phone and who's emailing them. And I think we found out a lot of it today. Last two years have been a challenge. We all know that. It's all been out there. However, here's to all the originators out there. It's time to evolve. Nobody's coming to save you. Interest rates are not going down. They may go down a little bit. Uh, however, here's what I'm going to tell you. 74% of loans are at 4% or lower. If you think the refis are coming, this is something I started saying last year that this industry has this Paul Revere syndrome. They keep saying every six months, the refis are coming, the refis are coming. They're not coming. Even if rates get a little bit lower and we don't have inventory. That's just the facts. Uh, still going to be a good year compared to last year. Last year had 4.3 million units. This year is going to be about 5.3. And there's a bit of attrition. So now's the time to dig in. It's a great opportunity for any originator, anybody in leadership, especially if they're young, they want to go to the next level because as Michael said earlier, there's not a whole lot of Gen Xers in this industry. It's pretty much Gen Y and baby boomers. And we're seeing the retirements happen after one another. So now's probably never been a better time to be an originator and to really take it to the next level. However, that's going to take you doing the work, reading the industry, six, 10 hours a week, going, knowing what's going on and really taking your leadership to the next level and it's really how you demonstrate your actions and more importantly how you always raise up the consumer loan officers it's time to change your underwear just like you change your business right now you've been relying on rates for way too long and really just trying to figure out what is it that you want to do well if it's time to change your underwear and change your business plan maybe it's time to also change the company that you're working with maybe a fresh start maybe something needs to change for you so whatever it is make that change in your business strategy in your company whatever it is today we talked about what is it that you need to do whatever it is it doesn't matter the things that are happening right now are not changing so you need to change for now on today's show i think we had one clear message which is yes it's tough time to be a leader in the lending industry because of the market but there are the right leaders out there that can relate to these loan officers and what they're saying is because so many loan officers and lenders have left the industry, and Eddie has actually said it on his own LinkedIn platform, that if you can just do 20% more in this market, you will be much better off because the market has shrunk. It is your opportunity. But if you can do 50% more, you have now changed the trajectory of your life as a loan officer in this market, because of this market, because your challengers left it. So rather than focusing on expanding and grabbing as many loan officers as possible i think one takeaway is how can you coach your best to be even better now that their competition has left